Hello, thanks guys for watching. Dr. Sammy here with Eastwood Animal Clinic. And we're gonna talk about some cases that I've been seeing a lot of here lately. And it's something called PLE. And what that stands for is protein losing enteropathy. What does that mean? Oh my gosh. Uh, so, basically, it's exactly what it sounds like. We are essentially losing protein in the GI tract. Protein losing and then enteropathy means intestine or GI tract for our purposes. Basically, we're talking about the small intestine. And there's a lot of reasons why the small intestine will not absorb nutrition. Parasites can do it, parvo does it a lot. It destroys the little villi that are in those intestines. Villi are the little finger-like projections inside the intestine that help with absorption. Think of it kind of as like a sponge inside the intestine. Parvo kind of makes those shorter and shorter and shorter. And guess what? If you can't absorb, you get the runs. You get a lot of splatter, shotgun diarrhea. <laughs> Not fun to clean up. Usually clients are like, oh crap, here I come. I'm tired of cleaning this up and dealing with it. That's when we usually see you guys. <laughs> Not usually right before it happens, but <laughs> that's part of it. So, um, other reasons are, like I said, GI parasites. Cancers, inflammation can do it. There are a lot of variables. It's not quite what we're talking about. So PLE, for whatever reason, the GI tract is not absorbing nutrition, in this case, protein. And water tends to follow, water is in blood, and water tends to follow protein and electrolytes. So if for whatever reason, the body's not absorbing it, it can get shotgunned out. Another one that we probably see a lot with more of the inflammatory PLE patients, which are typically middle-aged, they can be older, it can happen at any age, it just depends on the etiology, which means cause. A lot of them that I've been seeing lately have been middle-aged patients, five to eight-year-old patients, and they've been inflammatory issues. So when you get a bunch of inflammation, you get dilation of those cells and the cell walls, in this case the GI, when you get those, it's easier for proteins to leak through those holes than it is no holes. And once again, proteins can leak into it from the blood into the GI tract and then you get shotgunned out as well. Uh, we'll look at that a lot of times on blood work. Um, it's not usually the first thing we look for, but if it's something that's repetitive that we can repeat on multiple blood works, then usually we're gonna be working on our way to that and we can get a little bit more aggressive. Every patient, every client's different. Sometimes we'll go with ultrasound leading to B GI biopsies. There are some other tests we can run called folate, called bolamine test. Every doctor has their preference with that. I typically will do a vitamin B injection of some kind because it's a $20 shot typically versus a couple hundred dollar test. Um, that's kind of the summary with PLE and hope that gives you a little more information and watch out for those older patients with diarrhea and then just touch base with your veterinarian and we'll go from there guys. Bye.